हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल ओमनी ज्ञान मेरे चैनल ओमनी ज्ञान में आप सब लोगों का फिर से बहुत बहुत स्वागत है सो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अनदर लेसन फॉर मैरिज एंड इंग्लिश क्लास 11 व्हिच इज लव अक्रॉस द सॉल्ट डेजर्ट बाय के एन दारूवाला ओके एंड दिस इज अगेन इन द एडिशनल इंग्लिश सिलेबस क्लास 11 एंड आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द फुल स्टोरी सो नाउ द स्टोरी इन डिटेल्स ओके एंड विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट सो द स्टोरी बिगिंस विद द ड्राउट इन द रन ऑफ कच विथ लास्टेड फॉर थ्री ईयर्स तो एक्चुअली देयर वॉज अ ड्रॉट ड्रॉट मतलब जब सूखा पड़ जाता है ओके वैन वैन इट्स कम्प्लीटली ड्राई नो फूड नथिंग इज अवेलेबल ओके ट्रीज आर कम्प्लीटली बेयर लैंड इज बेयर विदाउट एनी वेजिटेशन ओके दैट इज कॉल्ड ड्रॉट ओके दिस वाटर स्केर सिटी और राइट सो दिस स्टोरी बिगिन्स एक्चुअली विथ दिस ड्रॉट एंड इन द रन ऑफ कच आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू सर्टन डिटेल्स अबाउट रन ऑफ कच अट लेटर ओके the run of kutch which lasted for 3 years to so, 3 saal tak okay this drought actually this uh, dryness okay lasted for 3 years theek hai ye 3 saal tak ye chala there was no rainfall and the earth had cracked so obviously as i told you drought means that there is no rainfall complete sukha jo hota hai jab weather completely sukha hota when when it's completely dry okay there, there was no rainfall for 3 years and you can imagine the condition of a place which is uh, without rainfall for con- three uh, consecutive years okay so the earth had cracked okay there were cracks on the earth cattle became thin okay cattle like sheep uh, cow all uh, of these uh, cattle became thin uh, because of the lack of food oxen died uh only camel survived comfortably because they fed on camel thorns camel thorns is a type of bush okay uh, which camels eat in the desert so camels are quite comfortable uh, in the desert area as you know so they uh, survived very comfortably feeding on camel thorns okay so this is a situation of the run of kutch which has been given by the author here now the beginning you might feel what is the beginning Uh, what is the connection of this particular beginning with the story love across the salt desert you will know you will come to know as we progress with the story so let me give you a very brief description about the run of kutch so run of kutch is basically it is a vast salt desert in gujarat theek hai to run of kutch kya hai wo ek salt desert hai kahan pe gujarat mein theek hai it's a salt desert in gujarat it is known as the largest salt desert in the world take it's very important to know that run of kutch <clears throat> now somewhere in the story i have written run somewhere in the story i have written kutch it's mean it means the same thing even in your book also sometimes it is r a n n run sometimes it is k u t c h kutch now we'll know the meaning of run here see run means desert in hindi to hindi mein run ka matlab hai desert ठीक है रन इन हिंदी रन इज अ हिंदी वर्ड एक्चुअली विच मीन्स डेजर्ट ओके एंड कच ऑल्सो शेयर्स बॉर्डर विथ पाकिस्तान सो ऑल ऑफ अस वी नो दैट अ पार्ट ऑफ गुजरात दिस रन ऑफ कच इट इज अ वास्ट डेजर्ट एंड इट शेयर्स बॉर्डर विथ पाकिस्तान ऑल्सो ठीक है आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड यहाँ पे हम लोग आते हैं एवरी वन रिमेंबर्स that it first rain when a girl called fatima entered the village so the story begins in this way actually that three years uh, it did not rain and when it rained for the first time it was when a girl called fatima entered the village theek hai to 3 saal tak koi barish nahi hua tha lekin bahut pehle jab barish hua tha okay pehli baar jab barish hua tha kab hua tha when did it rain when a girl called fatima entered the village so we can say that fatima Uh, we can say that fatima is a very lucky uh, girl actually fatima ek bahut lucky girl hai uh, jiske enter hote hi barish shuru hua tha uh, the moment she entered actually rain started okay so we can consider her to be a very lucky girl so who is fatima fatima is kale shah's daughter theek hai to fatima jo hai wo kale shah ki beti hai ab is naam ko yaad rakhe please remember this name kale shah she was a very beautiful girl and smelled of cloves and cinnamon because her father was a क्लव सेलर ठीक है क्योंकि उनके पिताजी जो है वो क्लव सेलिंग का बिजनेस करते थे तो उनके घर पे बहुत सारा बहुत सारे क्लब क्लब्स होते थे है ना लॉट ऑफ क्लब्स यूज टू बी देयर इन देयर हाउस एंड यू नो ऑल देयर हाउस एक्चुअली स्मेल्ट ऑफ सिनेमन एंड क्लब्स ओनली 
so naturally this girl also started smelling of cloves and cinnamon okay because basically his her father was uh, a clove seller okay and remember father's name is kalesha okay remember the names of the characters now here you see i'll just give an introduction in the beginning itself that there's a boy called najab hussein and he is the main character and the hero of our story okay to najab hussein jo hai wo hum logo ka hero hai kahani ka hero hum logo ka najab hussein hai aur kis tarike se wo hero how is he a hero or how he uh, he turns to be a hero will uh, learn that his father's name is aftab okay so najab's father's name is aftab his father thought that najab would lose all his money that his ancestors and he had earned so actually najab's father did not rely much on uh, najab okay aftab his father aftab did not rely on his son najab very much and uh, aftab thought that my son will lose all the money that i and my ancestors have earned to so, jitna paisa maine aur mere uh, you know uh, ancestors ne kamaya wo sab najab jo hai wo sab वो खो देगा खो देगा मतलब इसलिए नहीं दिस इज नॉट बिकॉज दैट नजाब स्पेंड्स अ लॉट ऑफ मनी इट्स नॉट इट इज नॉट दैट नजाब इज अजाब इज अ स्पेंड थ्रिफ्ट वन हु स्पेंड्स टू मच मनी इज नोन एज वाट अ स्पेंड थ्रिफ्ट इज नॉट इट वन वर्ड सब्सटीट्यूशन स्पेंड थ्रिफ्ट थ्रिफ्ट ओके सो इट इज नॉट दैट नजाब इज अ स्पेंड थ्रिफ्ट एंड ही स्पेंड्स अ लॉट ऑफ मनी बट बिकॉज द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट वेन नजाब सेल्स एनी थिंग ही इज टू शाई टू आस्क फॉर मनी for whatever he sells to najab whenever he would sell something no okay he would never ask for money okay and he never bargained with anybody if somebody said uh, say for example he used to sell cloves say for example okay say for example he sold uh, cloves he actually sold tendu leaves i'll give you the details a little later but let me just tell you he sold tendu leaves actually all right and uh, say for example he is selling tendu leaves and tendu leaves is 100 rupees per kilo for example say for example tendu is tendu leaves is 100 rupees per kilo so if somebody say that no no i'll give you 70 rupees only and naja would be so shy that he would never ask for uh, you know the right price wo kabhi jo hai apna hak ka paisa nahi mangta tha wo 70 rupees mein he is happy with the 70 rupees only okay so that is why naja's father aftab is little worried about this particular thing only कि वो इतना शर्माता है नजाब इज सो शाई दैट ही विल नेवर आस्क फॉर मनी फॉर द प्रोडक्ट दैट इज सेल्स नाउ नजाब इज एक्चुअली द रीजन इज वाई यू सी नजा वाई इज नजाब शाई बिकॉज नजाब इज एक्चुअली बेसिकली ही इज एन इंट्रोवर्ड गाई इंट्रोवर्ड तो यू नो इंट्रोवर्ड शाई रिजर्व एंड एस्पेशली ही बिकम्स रिजर्व वेन ही विल सी गर्ल्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिम और गर्ल इन फ्रंट ऑफ फ्रंट ऑफ हिम और राइट do you see he was now a 20 year old man we can say a 20 year old say a 20 year old guy is a man only actually okay uh, but najab's uh, character was by nature he was very uh, he was an introvert guy and he would always be shy especially jab ladkiyan uske paas samne aati thi jab wo ladkiyon ko dekhti thi samne to he would feel very shy actually and he never talked to girls okay so he is basically introvert and shy in nature and najab had to cross the run border on four occasions for business purpose to kahani jo hai pura is run of kach ko leke hai this this whole story is basically uh, based on this place called the run of kach and i gave you the details of run of kach it is basically a salt desert hai na it is a salt desert now najab actually uh, he had sometimes on business purpose he had to go to Uh, he had to cross the run of kach border also border means that side is pakistan this side is india and that side of the border is pakistan so naturally when he crosses the border he would go to pakistan only right so najab had to cross indian border and go to pakistan also but he went there for four times actually on four times on four occasions he had gone there and each time every time he had either gone with his father or another man called zaman now <coughs> najab actually sometimes his father you know his father would often go to uh, pakistan crossing the border his father would uh, go to pakistan to sell tendu leaves all right to sell tendu leaves okay and sometimes his father used to take najab with him okay so what happened is that najab ya to uske pitaji ke sath jata tha ya to ek dusra ek aadmi hai uska naam hai zaman bolge uske sath wo jata tha 
ठीक है तो चार बार ही गया था वो नजाब हैड गॉर गॉन फोर टाइम्स ओनली क्रॉसिंग द इंडियन बॉर्डर एंड गोइंग टू पाकिस्तान नो हुई जमान जमान वॉज एक्चुअली अ स्मगलर हु ब्राइब्ड द पाकिस्तानी रेंजर्स टू क्रॉस द बॉर्डर अब यू सी यू आर नॉट यू विल नेवर गेट परमिशन टू क्रॉस द बॉर्डर इन ऑर्डर टू गो टू अनदर कंट्री यू नीड वीजा पासपोर्ट सो मेनी थिंग्स राइट बट एज यू ऑल नो दैट देर आर इलीगल एंट्रीज ऑल्सो राइट देर आर इलीगल एंट्रीज ऑल्सो समटाइम्स वॉट हैपन्स नाउ जमान हियर इन द स्टोरी इज एक्चुअल अ स्मगलर एंड सी हु विल गो एंड स्मगलर विल नेवर टेक परमिशन फ्रॉम द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट नो वीजा पासपोर्ट ही इज बेसिकली अ स्मगलर अ क्रिमिनल काइन राइट सो वॉट ही वुड डू इज दैट ही वुड <coughs> he would uh, bribe the pakistani soldiers the pakistani border soldiers known as rangers he would bribe those pakistani rangers to cross the border okay sometimes giving them 100 rupees 200 rupees this and that okay and he used to smuggle tendu leaves in pakistan and bring back clubs or terilin garments to zaman jo hota tha wo basically he is a smuggler and he would smuggle tendu leaves in pakistan along with uh najab's father okay aftab and saman actually do aftab is not a smuggler actually but whenever he wanted to cross the border he used to take zaman's help because zaman uh, had grown quite a kind of a friendship with the pakistani rangers to pakistani rangers ke sath uska ek dosti ho chuka tha to jab bhi zaman jata tha they would recognize zaman and with uh, bribe they would allow zaman and aftab to cross the border okay so zaman would carry tendu leaves with him in pakistan he would sell tendu leaves in pakistan and bring back clubs or terilin garments okay to so, tendu leaves bech ke wo clubs nahi to terilin garments kharid ke wo pakistan se india mein lata tha aur uska business karta tha but illegally okay illegally these are all illegal trades and zaman was a veteran smuggler veteran matlab ekdam experienced kind of a smuggler not new in the field okay he was a very experienced kind of a smuggler he was not new in the field and he had undertaken such illegal trips a hundred times usne matlab 100 times he had crossed the border he had done smuggling of tendu leaves okay so it was an, a routine for him a kind of a routine for him and pakistani rangers also allowed him to go okay so without zaman's help nobody cross could cross the border zaman ke help ke bina border cross karna possible nahi tha theek hai तो इन वन सच ट्रिप्स एक्चुअली ऐसे ही किसी एक ट्रिप में विथ इज फादर नजाब मेट फातिमा इन देयर हाउस एंड द स्टेट एट द हाउस ऑफ कालेशा नाउ एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट नजाब हिज फादर आफ्ताब वुड ओफन गो टू सेल टेंडू लिव इन पाकिस्तान एंड दे ऑब्वियसली यूज टू टेक हुज हेल्प दे यूज टू टेक जमान सेल्प सो इन वन सच ट्रिप्स एक्चुअली दे टूक जमान सेल्प दे क्रॉस पाकिस्तान बॉर्डर and they went to kalesha's house actually to sell tendu leaves and who is kalesha fatima's father and in their house only actually najab for the first time he saw fatima and they stayed at kalesha's house matlab najab and aftab they stayed in kalesha's house okay now fatima was a very distant relative of najab's mother okay to najab ki jo mummy thi उनके बहुत डिस्टेंट रिलेटिव थे फातिमा और उनके पिताजी कालेशा एंड फातिमा ओके नाउ व्हेन फातिमा सो नजाब शी फेल इन लव विथ हिम बट नजाब एज यूजुअल वॉज शाई टू स्पीक एनीथिंग तो फातिमा ने जब नजाब को पहली बार देखा तो शी फेल इन लव विथ हिम बट यू सी व्हेन शी ट्राई टू ट्राई टू टॉक टू नजाब एक्चुअली नजाब वॉज सो शाई दैट ही कुड नॉट स्पीक एनीथिंग एंड ही वॉज साइलेंट ऑल द टाइम एंड फातिमा यूज टू you know laugh that being a boy you don't speak anything okay anyways but as uh, time went okay they they f- both fell in love after some times after some times matlab usi din because they was there for one night they were there for one night ek raat ke liye wo kalesha ke ghar pe ruke the in that one night only actually what happened that both of them they fell in love with one another after some times and naja promised now before coming back to india naja promised to fatima that i will come back to pakistan again and uh, uh, i'll meet you okay to ye promise kiya tha ab 
प्रॉब्लम वॉज दैट फातिमा वॉज ऑलरेडी एंगेज टू अ मैन कॉल्ड महफूज अली तो महफूज अली बोल के एक आदमी था जिसके साथ फातिमा का ऑलरेडी सोशल एंगेजमेंट हो चुका था ओके सोशल एंगेजमेंट हैड ऑलरेडी हैपेंड ओके बिटवीन फातिमा एंड दिस गाई कॉल महफूज अली बट द प्रॉब्लम वॉज फातिमा डिड नॉट लाइक दिस मैन महफूज अली बिकॉज ही हैड स्लर्ड स्पीच एंड ही स्टैमर्ड हम लोग बोलते हैं ना तोतलाना हकलाना ओके okay, तोतला और हकला हम लोग बोलते हैं ना तो दिस मैन यूज टू स्टैमर एंड ही हेड अ स्लर्ड स्पीच एक्चुअली और एट एंड दैट इज वाई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फातिमा डिड नॉट लाइक महफूज अली बट अगेन यू सी द अदर रीजन इज वॉज दैट इट वॉज अगेंस्ट फातिमाज विश एंड एज यू नो दैर आर मेनी ऑर्थोडॉक्स फैमिलीज एक्चुअली हु डोंट अलाउ देयर डॉटर्स और सन्स टू मैरी विदाउट द विश ऑफ द पेरेंट्स पेरेंट्स विल फिक्स द मैरिज बिटवीन uh you know of their daughters or sons with whomever they would like all right so it was again you see in this case it is the same it was against fatima's wish but fatima couldn't do anything he had she had to obey uh, her father kalesha anyways now after the business purpose najab came back to uh, india and his village is khavda okay his village is khavda a village which is in bhuj bhuj is in gujarat ओके okay, ये जो खवडा विलेज है छोटा सा विलेज इज अ वेरी स्मॉल विलेज एंड इट इज इन भूज इन गुजरात ओके बट ही स्टार्टेड मिसिंग फातिमा वेरी मच वो फातिमा को बहुत ज़्यादा मिस करने लगा ही मिस्ड फातिमा एंड लॉन्ग टू गो टू कच अगेन टू मीट हर तो क्योंकि उसने प्रॉमिस किया था बिकॉज ही हैड प्रोमिस्ड फातिमा दैट आई वुड कम बैक वेरी सून एंड मीट यू ओके सो ही ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड मिसिंग फातिमा वेरी मच फातिमा ओवर पाकिस्तान ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड मीटिंग नाजाब वेरी मच ओके इट वॉज अ काइंड ऑफ इंटेंसिटी ऑफ देर लव नाउ वन डे वॉट हैपन्ड दिस लॉन्गिंग यू सी दिस विश टू मीट टू मीट फातिमा बिकम सो स्ट्रॉन्ग दैट वन डे विदाउट इन्फॉर्मिंग एनी बडी इन द हाउस नाजाब रैन अवे टू कच एंड ही टुक हिज कैमल अल्लाह रखा विथ हिम सो रिमेंबर द नेम ऑफ नाजाब कैमल इज अल्लाह रखा और राइट एंड later in the story okay a little later in the story but i'm uh, mentioning you here only because all the important events i have mentioned systematically all right so here you see najab did not run alone and it is not completely true that he ran away without informing anyone actually his mother helped him najab's mother had helped him to run away okay how did his his mother help him to run away see we learn that first of all you see how the story started how they came to know that najab had run away actually najab's father aftab did not know that najab had run away so how aftab came to know actually one day what happened zaman came zaman you know that smuggler to one day zaman came and st- he started shouting you know early morning he came and he started shouting outside najab's house to najab ke ghar ke bahar wo khada ho ke wo chillane laga zor zor se okay he was very angry Aftab was very irritated. Aftab, Aftab, you know, is Najab's father. So Aftab was very irritated by the noise. He came out of the house. He opened the door and came out of the house, and he asked Zaman, "What do you want?" Okay, and Zaman told him, you know, little sarcastically, uh, making fun. Okay, he was angry, but he was making fun uh, to insult Aftab actually. So Zaman told him that you don't know where is your camel. Then. aftab he uh, you know rushed to the place where he used to keep the camel but that place was empty then zaman told him that najab was also missing that your son najab is also missing and his camel is also missing so when aftab actually went to check that place where he kept his camel that place was empty allah rakha the camel was not there then aftab became confirm that yes najab is also missing but where did najab go that aftab did not know now aftab became very tense that where did my son go so he then rushed inside the house to see if najab had taken the tendu leaves to sell so aftab thought that maybe my son najab had taken the tendu leaves to sell but when he entered the house to see whether all the tendu leaves had been taken by najab he saw that no all the tendu leaves were inside the house only najab had not taken a single leaf from there एक भी टेंडू लीव्स उसने नहीं लिया था 
तो वो गया कहाँ फिर इफ बिकॉज दे डेल्ट ओनली विथ टेंडू बिजनेस वो लोग सिर्फ टेंडू लीव्स ही सेल करते थे और तो कुछ सेल करने लायक था नहीं उनके पास दे डि नॉट हैव एनी अदर थिंग टू सेल सो इफ ऑल द टेंडू लीव्स आर देयर इन साइड द हाउस वाई डिड नजाब गो अवे और रन अवे तो नजाब भाग क्यों गया था और वो कहाँ गया था वे डिड ही गो दैन एंड आफ्ताब बिकेम वेरी एंग्री ऑन नजाब and he said these words okay these are words from the book he said oh the fool he has forgotten to take the leaf with him actually he has not forgotten to take the leaf with him he najab did not go on any business work he went to meet whom he went to meet fatima right that to aftab did not know aftab ko thoda ye pata tha okay so he said that are wo gadha सारा टेंडू लीफ यहीं पर भूल के चला गया ओके okay, एक्चुअली वो टेंडू लीफ के लिए गया नहीं वो तो गया था फातिमा से मीट करने के लिए बट जमान डिड नॉट बिलीव आफ्ताब एक्चुअली ही थॉट दैट बोथ फादर एंड सन हैड प्लान एवरी थिंग राइट एक्चुअली वाई जमान वॉज एंग्री आई टेल यू वाई वाई जमान वॉज एंग्री जमान इतने गुस्से में क्यों होता सी नजाब वेंट ऑन इज ओन चाहे वो सी वेदर ही हेज गॉन्ट टू सेल टेंडू लिवस और वेदर ही हेज गॉन्ट टू मीट फातिमा इट इज इज पर्सनल चॉइस राइट वो तो उसका पर्सनल चॉइस है एंड इफ आफ्ताब ऑल्सो ही हैड सेंड नजा अप टू सेल टेंडू लिवस और फॉर वॉट एवर पर्पज दैट इज अगेन आफ्ताब्स पर्सनल चॉइस बट वाई वॉज जमान एंग्री आई टेल यू वाई एंड जमान एक्चुअली बिकेम सो एंग्री दैट ही कॉल नजाब अ पिग एंड ही कॉल आफ्ताब ऑल्सो अ पिग इन वॉट वे ही कॉल नजा पिग एंड अ सन ऑफ अ पिग सन ऑफ अ पिग मतलब आफ्ताब वॉज ऑल्सो अ पिग हम लोग बोलते हैं ना मैं इसे अगर हिंदी में बताओ ओके एंड बिकॉज द वर्ड पिग इज देयर दैट इज वाई आई कैन मेक द डायरेक्ट ट्रांसलेशन आई होप नो बडी टेक्स इट अदरवाइज तो नजाब को उसने सुअर कहा और नजाब को उसने सुअर का बच्चा कहा इसका मतलब सुअर नजाब है और सुअर का बच्चा मतलब हिज फादर इज ऑल्सो अ पिग और दिस इज जमान ओके ही बिकेम वेरी एंग्री and zaman was angry why you see look at the reason zaman was angry because it was him who made the rangers happy by bribing them so in a way he was the chief so without taking zaman's permission najab had done a big mistake so the problem here was you see zaman see the pakistani soldiers they actually knew zaman very nicely so zaman was angry because najab did not take permission from zaman before crossing the border because zaman thought that i am the head i am the chief so without my permission how can najab cross the border he should have informed him he should have respected me by informing me all right and only zaman can pay bribe to the rangers not anybody the rangers will not accept bribe from anybody other than zaman so zaman said that zaman told actually he warned aftab that aftab your son had done a big mistake by crossing the border uh, or by going and trying to cross the border without informing me because he will be in big difficulty the rangers will not accept any bribe for him and they will think that he is a kind of a spy and they will directly shoot him because the pakistani rangers have orders from their superiors that if you see any unsuspected person entering the house uh, entering the border shoot him directly all right so uh, zaman warned uh, aftab so he said that the rangers would kill najab if they found him crossing the border because najab was just a mere boy and did not have any experience so you see zaman had the experience of talking to the rangers it is not only that you have rupees and you money and you go and give bribe to the uh, pakistani rangers and they will allow you to cross the border no there's a way to talk and najab was ex- uh, i'm sorry uh, zaman was expert in that but najab was just a 20 year old boy he did not have any experience so definitely the rangers would kill najab this is what zaman said now having said all these things zaman went away so as zaman went away aftab entered his house and gave the information of najab's escape to his wife now aftab did not know see who helped najab in running away najab's mother his mother m- means aftab's wife right now aftab did not know that his wife had helped najab in running away 
so naturally he came and he gave this sad information to his wife that najab has run away but when he saw that his wife did not react at all aftab understood that there is something wrong that there is something fishy and aftab now understood that wife did not react you see son is missing and wife is not reacting matlab najab's mother is not reacting so isn't that strange so now he understood that his wife that is najab's mother had helped him to escape but the question is how could najab arrange money to escape you know in order to escape najab would need money and who will give najab money now you see another discovery was made when aftab looked at her arm the golden bangle was missing now are you understanding students the golden bangle was missing and it now became clear that she had given the bangle to najab obviously it is as obvious as that that when aftab thought that how could najab arrange money to go away he would require money no and suddenly aftab looked ha- at his wife's arm and he saw that the golden bangle was missing immediately understood immediately everything became clear that she had given the bangle to najab all right and now you see let's come to najab story now what is najab doing where is najab now now najab stopped at kala dungar it is again a place uh, crossing uh, the run of kutch okay i mean uh, just before run of kutch it's a place there actually and it is a very sacred place dedicated to panchami peer okay panchami peer is a kind of a sadhu okay saint kind of a person okay and this kala dungar remember the name he stopped in kala dungar to take rest and another important uh, thing that uh, he did at kala dungar and this was a custom actually ye custom tha us time pe ke according to the custom he offered food for the jackals and beat the thali so you see say this is kala dungar okay so this is kala dungar and uh, he would offer food you know anybody who would go there so najab offered food to the jackals there and the thali the dish the plate okay he started beating the plate loudly so at once several jackals came out from the bushes and all the jackals ate the food so it was considered to be a good omen okay ek bahut acha sign omen matlab ek bahut acha sign mana jata tha that if you beat the thali if you beat the plate and if jackals come out and eat all the food it is good then you can continue your journey aap aapka journey continue kar sakte hain lekin but agar iska opposite ho agar iska ulta hua if the jackals had not accepted the food agar jackals wo food nahi khayenge then you will have to come back okay that means it is evil it is it was considered to be evil wo kharab hai apshagun hum log bolte hain na wo apshagun hoga wo kharab hoga it will be considered to be a to be an ill omen to be evil okay but here najab was successful because all the jackals came and ate the food okay so he finally paid homage to the peer to the saint to the sadhu and started and started on his journey theek hai now you see in order to meet fatima he had struggled so much in crossing the desert can you imagine he had struggled so much to cross that desert that salty desert i would say that salty desert okay and look at the struggles actually he traveled all night on the back of his fast moving camel a uh, camel and by dawn early morning he reached sarbela 20 miles from kala dungar so at night he stayed at kala dungar okay then he took some rest fed the jackals and he continued his journey whole night okay so by early dawn he reached a place called sarbela which is 20 miles away from kala dungar so he has already crossed kala dungar and reached a place called sarbela theek hai now he rested there for some times and drank water and ate his dry bread with onions so there again he rested for some times he drank water and he ate his dry bread with onion bread here is chapati actually roti theek hai bread does not mean the bread that we eat it is chapati okay roti with onion okay now it was very hot also let me tell you the blazing heat of the day it was very hot and you know already that a desert is 
so hot especially it's a desert of salt actually a salty desert the distance to run of kutch was less than 10 miles and the heat of the sun was unbearable so at least it would be a uh, little less than 10 miles okay uh, the distance to run of kutch but the heat of the day was killing okay itna garam tha waha pe ki it was killing almost killing najab now what happened is that the pakistani rangers as najab actually uh, started crossing the uh, the the border the pakistani rangers saw him the pakistani rangers were watching from their towers and no movement could escape their watchful binoculars so with binoculars on their eyes they were actually watching you know if if anybody would enter without the permission so they were watching you know and in that moment at that very moment they actually noticed some kind of a movement and that movement was uh, nothing but the movement of najab actually he was trying to cross the border najab had sensed that the pakistani rangers had seen me pakistani rangers ne mujhe dekh liya but there was no going back now because he was missing fatima and the images the picture of fatima haunted him the picture of fatima was there inside his mind and he was restless to reach her okay i have to reach fatima i have to go to meet her by hook or by crook okay so his camel was overworked and it could die on the way out of fatigue to usne dekha ki his camel was over tired tired not tired his camel was over tired and you see over tiring camels could die if if they become over tired they could die also any animal okay because animal cannot speak no that i am tired i cannot walk animals cannot do that right but najab sensed already najab ne already samajh liya tha ki mera camel jo hai itna tired ho chuka tha मैं इसके पीछे और ट्रैवल नहीं कर सकता आई कैन नॉट एक्चुअली ट्रैवल ऑन द बैक ऑफ माई कैमल आई हैव टू वॉक नाउ सो वॉट ही डिड ही हार्नेस्ड हिज कैमल एंड ही रिज्यूम्ड हिज जर्नी तो कैमल को जो है वो कैमल से उतर गया ही माउंटेड डाउन फ्रॉम द कैमल कॉट द रोप एंड ही वॉक हिज कैमल ऑल्सो वॉक स्लोली स्लोली ओके सो नजाब न्यू द वे नजाब हैड ऑलरेडी कम हाउ मेनी टाइम्स crossing the run of kutch he had already gone to pakistan crossing the border four times sometimes with his father sometimes with zaman so najab already knew the way because he had traveled quite a number of times specific fically uh, four times he lay between the two posts at jaktari and vingur so these are the two posts there in the international boundary and he crossed the international boundary at pillar number 1066 so 1066 ka jo international boundary ka jo pillar hai na aise hote hai pillar bara pillar aur yahan pe likha rehta hai uh, international boundary pillar number 1066 aisa likha rehta hai okay and so this part is india and crossing this part is pakistan he crossed that international boundary of 1066 also and rangers as i told you know rangers were not sure but now they noticed him completely रेंजर्स ने पाकिस्तानी रेंजर्स ने सोल्जर्स ने देख लिया उसको एंड दिट स्टार्ट चेजिंग हिम एंड शूटिंग हिम बट नजाब ड्रोव हिज कैमल हार्ड तो नजाब फिर से उसके कैमल के ऊपर उठ गया ही माउंटेड बैक ऑन हिज कैमल एंड द कैमल स्टार्ट रनिंग वेरी फास्ट एंड द रेंजर्स ऑल्सो स्टार्ट चेजिंग हिम ओके एंड द रेंजर्स वोट अलाउ सम वन टू ट्रेस पास द बॉर्डर विदाउट पेइंग ब्राइव नाउ यू सी दे वुड एक्चुअली दे वुड हैव अलाउड नजाब Uh, but because najab did not offer any bribe and he was just quietly slipping in that is why you see the rangers became very angry and the rangers wanted bribe okay and without paying bribe they would not allow anybody now the rangers were chasing najab najab was on his camel najab was running rangers were chasing and shooting also sometimes they were firing gunshots also but najab was very very lucky and why lucky because due to a storm of dust as you know in the desert there are often dust storms right so because of this dust storm between him and his hunters hunters means the rangers najab was saved because they lost their way all right because of the uh, storm of dust the rangers lost track of najab to unhone najab ko kho diya tha thanks to the storm of dust तो इस डस्ट स्टॉम की वजह से नजाब बच गया नाउ द कैमल वॉज वेरी टायर्ड सो नजाब हैड टू गेट डाउन एंड वॉक अलॉन्ग विथ इट सो नजाब फिर से उतर गया नजाब माउंटेड डाउन अगेन फ्रॉम इज हॉर्स फ्रॉम इज कैमल एंड दे 
started walking both he and his camel started walking now you see the 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 ground of the desert had became very hot and naja was continuously walking no naja was continuously walking so his feet was completely burnt and injured wo jal gaya tha and it was very badly injured also <clears throat> okay anyway somehow he reached fatima's house at night so with an injured feet he went to fatima's house at night and called her softly to usne fatima ko bahut softly bulaya theek hai fatima fatima woh softly bulaya taki koi jaag na jaye so that nobody no one else wakes up otherwise there will be problem so fatima thought who is calling me <coughs> to fatima ne socha mujhe kaun bula raha hai is waqt okay and she woke up being puzzled but soon recognized the voice to be of najabs and she was very happy and she let him in to raat ko jo itna raat ko kaun mujhe bulayega to uthke jab acche se voice ko suna when she heard the voice nicely she recognized it is najab and she was taken by surprise actually and she let him in next morning what happened now it is in pakistan only okay next morning what happened one police constable came to kalesha's house kalesha is who fatima's father that means they came to fatima's house so one police constable came to fatima's house and he informed kalesha fatima's father that a smuggler has crossed the run and come to your house now kalesha does not know anything kalesha ko to kuch pata nahi hai hai na ab pata hai ki nahi ye to hame nahi pata lekin itna tak to hame pata hai till here we come to know that only fatima knows that naja was there in the house and nobody else so when early in the morning that police constable came to inform uh, fatima's father kalesha that are one smuggler has crossed the border uh, crossed the run border and we have information that he has come to your house so the constable asked kalesha that whether the smuggler has entered your house or not okay he asked kalesha in this way and kalesha took you know under oath actually usne kasam khaya he said kasam tumhari it is there in the story if you look at the book no it's there the so, kalesha said that no 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 ma kasam okay uh, i have no one has entered my house no one has entered my house because even the dogs did not bark at night if somebody would have entered my house at least the dogs would have barked no because dogs are very uh, you know dogs do not sleep actually at night no? even if they get uh, slightest sound also they start barking but the dogs did not bark at night so no one has entered the house kasam tumhari you know no one has entered the house all right but you see fatima came and told her father fatima ne jab wo constable chala gaya to fatima aake apne pita ji ko inform karta hai karti hai kya inform karti hai ki father there is a guest in our cow shed cow shed is a place where cows are kept hai na where cows are kept like dogs kennel cow shed is for cows so fatima came and informed her father that father one guest has come to our house would you like to see and when kalesha went to the cow shed he was surprised to see that najab had come without any tendu leaf okay without any tendu leaf because generally you see when aftab came zaman came even before also when najab used to come with his father they used to bring tendu leaf with him and in return kalesha used to give cloves or cinnamon right but now najab came empty handed without any tendu leaf now kalesha could not understand anything so najab however told him that he had come for cloves and would pay in gold now najab said that no actually uncle i did not bring uh, tendu leaf with me but i will definitely pay uh, i'll take cloves from you but i'll pay you in gold i have gold with me so instead of tendu leaf see the thing is that i think you are understanding no they used to sell tendu leaf it was a kind of an kind of a exchange okay tendu leaf with cloves okay so uh, najab would give tendu leaves and take back cloves in return but here najab did not bring any tendu leaves instead he bought gold so the situation is now like this najab would give gold and kalesha would give him cloves so gold he would give and cloves he would take samajh mein aa gaya aapko okay so anyways you see 
कालेशा नीडेड मनी सो गोल्ड मतलब विच गोल्ड गोल्ड इज दैट गोल्ड बैंगल्स सो नजाब के इफ इज गोल्ड बैंगल्स टू कालेशा विच हिज मदर हैड गिवन हिम राइट तो नजाब टोल्ड कालेशा दैट अंकल दिस इज गोल्ड नाउ यू गो एंड मेजर द क्लब्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द अमाउंट दैट आई हैव गिवन यू अमाउंट मीन्स द गोल्ड दैट आई हैव गिवन यू ओके सो कालेशा बिकेम इमीडिएटली बिजी मेकिंग ऑल द अरेंजमेंट्स ही इवन सेंड नजाब स्केमल टू ग्रेज अ फ्यू माइल्स अवे एंड वेंट अबाउट बाइंग क्लब्स फॉर हिम तो उसने जो है वो बैंगल्स ले लिए ही टुक द गोल्ड गोल्डन बैंगल्स फ्रॉम नजाब एंड ही इमीडिएटली वेंट ही गॉट वेरी बिजी इन अरेंजिंग द क्लब्स फॉर हिम एंड ही ऑल्सो सेंट नजाब स्केमल बिकॉज द केमल वॉज वेरी टायर्ड सो ही सेंट नजाब स्केमल टू अ ग्रीन काइंड ऑफ एन एरिया वेयर नजाब स्केमल कुड ग्रेज एंड ईट सम फ्रेश क्रास ओके अ फ्यू माइल्स अवे एंड ही वेंट टू द मार्केट टू बाई क्लब्स फॉर हिम नाउ इन द मीन टाइम वॉट हैपन द नेक्स्ट इवनिंग नजाब इलोप्ट नाउ दैट इवनिंग तो हिट ऑलरेडी हैड टेकन दैट पर्टिकुलर डे तो ऑलरेडी पास्ट ओके नेक्स्ट इवनिंग वॉट हैपन विदाउट इन्फॉर्मिंग एनीबडी नजाब इलोप्ट इलोप्ट मीन्स रन अवे क्वाइटली स्पेशली फॉर मैरिज भाग जाना हम लोग कहते हैं ना वैन बॉयज एंड बॉय एंड गर्ल रन अवे फ्रॉम द फैमिली इन ऑर्डर टू मैरी that is called eloped especially eloped is associated with this particular term only okay now najab eloped with fatima on the back of allah raka okay next day without informing anybody najab took out the camel allah raka and najab and fatima both ran away and it had never occurred to them that they were crossing the international boundary even fatima did not give a second thought while leaving her village these two lines or points i'll explain you a little later okay because i have some analysis for all of you but let us complete the story please remember okay these two okay these two i will inform uh, i will explain you a little later the writer says that one would never think of hindustan and pakistan when one was eloping with one's love isn't that right let's come to this point see these two points means the same actually it had never occurred to them that they were crossing the international boundary i'll tell you one thing today we have lots of tensions with pakistan today we have lot of tensions with pakistan india pakistan we have lot of tensions with pakistan now najab and fatima najab belong to india and fatima was from pakistan their religions because from the name you can guess that their religions are quite same okay so we are not going into that thing but one is from india another is from pakistan and you see najab and fatima they were in they were truly in love with one another right they were truly in love with one another now love does not know international borders or national borders or religion or caste or discrimination these kind of discriminations are no more a question when you know one is in love with the other so that the same happened with najab and fatima okay that they were crossing international border, borders and fatima even did not give a second thought when she was leaving her village because you see that she was uh, forcefully uh, made to engage with a a man called what is the name of the man mehfooz mehfooz ali right so he, without her wish actually without her permission without her consent okay her father had done this engagement this was wrong and that fatima did not like what fatima wanted to be independent and that independence only najab could give her okay so because of this true love this india pakistan does not matter borders do not matter borders do not matter okay this is what the two points actually means okay and uh, uh, the writer says that one would never think of hindustan and pakistan when one was eloping with one's love jab do when a boy and a girl you see when a boy and a girl they are in love with one another it does not matter whether you are from hindustan or pakistan love is love you have seen pk movie also no that movie pk by amir khan okay that boy sarfaraz is from pakistan and the girl is from india right so that is the thing okay so no sooner did they uh, come near it would be come okay 
no sooner did they come near khavda than the thunder started rolling this is the time you see in the beginning the writer said that when fatima entered the village rain had started this this is the thing actually okay when fatima entered the village khavda which is in bhuj in gujarat a village in bhuj khavda is a village in bhuj which is in gujarat okay when fatima entered the village the thun there was thunder in the sky thundering in the sky and with the arrival of najab with fatima rain also started showering in the run so fatima was a very lucky girl in that way right fatima was a very lucky girl to jab najab aaya fatima ke sath to barish hone laga run mein run of kach mein 3 saal ke baad barish hua the it rained after 3 years right it rained after 3 years you see so what happened is that you see uh, that night it was heavily raining and uh, najab came and started knocking at the door so his father thought maybe because of the sound of the rain uh, it was heavily raining because of the sound of uh, of the rain and uh, there was wind also blowing so the maybe the door was just uh, you know banging because of the wind or because of the rain water but an eager father waiting for his son aftab would open the door three times during the night ठीक है तो दो तीन बार उसने ऐसे ही से दरवाजा खोला टू थ्री टाइम्स आफ्टर जस्ट ओपन द डोर जस्ट लाइक दैट ओनली टू चेक बट दिस टाइम यू सी द नॉक वॉज रियल द नॉक एट द डोर वॉज रियल ओके टू थ्री टाइम्स मे बी द नॉकिंग वॉज ड्यू टू द विंड और ड्यू टू द हेवी रेन फॉल बट दिस टाइम द नॉकिंग वॉज रियल इट वॉज रियली नजाब हु एट कम नॉकिंग एट द डोर एंड नजाब वॉज बैक होम नाउ ओके नजाब घर पर वापस पहुँच चुका था अब देखते हैं फादर क्या करता है because he had without any information he had run away so his father asks najab in a strong voice to uska pita ji to businessman aftab is a basically a businessman to without scolding his son actually he asked his son he asks najab that son have you brought anything with you tum to khali haath gaye the you did not even take the tendu leaf with you so did you bring anything or not from pakistan he was talking obviously he was anything means he was talking of clubs only either clubs or cinnamon only because businessman to businessman hote his father is a businessman and he will always talk of business only okay see son has come after a few days okay and you see aftab is instead aftab should have asked no how are you okay uh, was there any problem where did you go okay without asking anything he simply asks have you brought anything anything means clubs of cinnamon with you and najab replied yes yes i brought something and what is that and fatima who was hiding behind najab which aftab did not notice in the beginning aftab jo hai najab ke pita ji ne fatima ko nahi dekha tha kyunki fatima piche chupi hui thi fatima was hiding behind so najab said yes yes i brought and he took fatima inside the house ke dekhiye main इनको लेके आया ओके एंड द स्टोरी एंड हियर द स्टोरी जो है ये यहीं पे खत्म हो जाता है ओके द स्टोरी एंड हियर एंड एनालिस ओनली टू पॉइंट्स एनालिस यू सी इट्स नॉट अ वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड स्टोरी सो ट्रू लव डज नॉट थिंक ऑफ इंटरनेशनल बॉर्डर्स रिलीजन लैंग्वेज कास्ट एक्सेट्रा इट इज ऑब्वियसली ट्रू नाउ अनदर एनालिस यू सी वी सी दैट नजाब इज अ वेरी शाइप काइंड ऑफ अ बॉय दो नजाब इज शोन as a very shy boy but later he turns to be courageous to have gone all alone taking all the risks and eloping with fatima see in the beginning all of us we know now okay in the beginning najab is shown as a very shy introvert kind of a guy but later you see he turns completely opposite he goes all alone crossing the border meeting fatima and running away from there again without informing kalesha also okay that needs a lot of courage so he goes opposite to his character opposite to his beginning character earlier character earlier nature that we see in the story theek hai to yahi hai analysis and it's a beautiful story i hope all of you like the story all right and uh, if you have any confusion any questions any doubts you can comment me in the comment section okay and i'm there on instagram and Uh, facebook also the links are there in the description box you can simply go there and follow me there also okay and finally uh, subscribe to the channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like the video when you watch the video at least 
hit the like button it will encourage me more and i will obviously it's a kind of a response i will know that you have seen the video have watched the video okay and do share my videos with all your friends and also tell them to subscribe because as i told you that i will be completing the entire syllabus for class 11 and class 12 with all of you so i have started i have completed 12 english class 12 english now i have started class 11 additional english i will be starting uh class 12 uh, additional english and class 11 english also very soon let me complete this part first okay so that's all from me for today thank you so much for watching the video with love from omnigan and all the best to all of you